Okay, so this is my commentary on Haitians and their independence, uh, Dominicans and the way they see each other. I don't know if everybody's anybody's because this this is like a, a kind of this it's not a kind it's a genocide that happened. No one even noticed it. Del Perejil, huh? Back when Trujillo, a dictator, a Dominican dictator, he used to paint his face white. Okay? Back when he was in power, there was a whole bunch of Haitians crossing the border over to the Dominican side. And uh, he sent the military there. To stop them. But this. <laughs> but you know how the military knew. How to kill. The Haitians. How to recognize them. It wasn't about how they looked. They would go up to anybody they saw. Close to the border. Right. And they would say. Que digas perejil. That means parsley. Perejil. And if the person answered and said it with an accent, they would chop him up with machetes and all his entire family and kill him right there. So, they weren't even able to notice. How to say? To realize which, which one was the bad one or which one was the good one. Until it came out of their mouth. If they said it with kind of, they, would, they didn't say perejil. They say, but, but, or something. They would get killed right there. So they would be killing people that had the same color as them. Same blood as them. Now on Haitian independence. And all the Haitians... You have to give it to them, though. They, they were the first black country to uh, get their freedom. Be the first black. But they, they hadn't won their independence. Even though they kicked the French out. They hadn't, they hadn't freed themselves. You know why? Because for generations after that, the ones that ruled were the most light-skinned ones. The ones who were pale. Yellow motherfuckers. So how are you going to tell me you freed yourself from fucking slavery. But yet the people that still ruled you. That ruled over your people. Were more white. 